Hello and welcome to the Inner Wild Woman Balancing the Elements course. This is a time for us to go a little deeper into each element and have an understanding of what it means to be in the earth, the fire, the air, the water or the space. And knowing how that affects our emotions, how it can affect how we're feeling and maybe give us a little insight to what we may need to balance the elements within us a little more. I know with fire I tend to have a lot of fire and at times that's really great because I can use that fire for creativity, for passion, for drive. But then also if I go into an excess fire state I can become irritated and irritable and needing to cool down and I do tend to go towards water when I feel like that. Or I may need to ground myself a little more into the earth. So going into elements really helps to give us a little more of a understanding of ourselves. We're all created from these elements that's all around us in nature. So it's pretty cool to see how they all can balance together and or how they can all go whew, unbalanced, <laughs> which is awesome. So for this course, we'll be starting off with the earth element. Earth Elements a great place to start is it's thinking of it like creating the foundation. So having that foundation. So you know when we want to set a goal, set our intention, it's important to have something to aim from. You know, so that we feel more grounded into the earth. We feel more like we have that beautiful fertile soil happening to allow for that growth to occur. You know, the earth could be shelter, you know, our homes. Nourishing, you know, nourishing ourselves. How do we nourish ourselves daily? So really just thinking about what earth means for you and spending some time with the earth this week. You know, really touching her, getting into her soils, standing next to the trees looking at planting your seeds, you know, weaving in the garden, pulling things out that no longer serve you. So I'd like to invite you now to gently close down the eyes as we start coming into your space. Feeling ourselves connected to the earth, so really being aware of coming into our bodies, allowing that heaviness to fall over ourselves. Whether you're standing, sitting or lying down, whether you're inside or outside, just having connection to the ground. And allowing the beautiful earth to support you, feeling the weight. And just start connecting into your breath as we bring ourselves into our inner world, allowing whatever is happening external to just float on by. And connecting with the breath now, we're just going to allow the breath to flow naturally in the body. As we start to take ourselves in a visualization to connect with the earth. So imagining now that we're walking beautiful grassy patch of earth. Open spaces are all around us. And we start to walk noticing that we are barefoot. Feeling the softness of the grass. And be mindful of each step as we walk towards a forest opening. And stepping ourselves into the forest. The ground feels soft with the moss and the earth. A little bit cooling on our feet. Having a gaze around, noticing the trees, the colours. 
Noticing the lushness of the growth of the green. The changes of the cycles with the bark shredding, the leaves falling. And smelling the fresh smells of the fertile soil. As we start walking a little deeper into our forest. And connecting with the energy of the earth. Feeling secure, feeling safe. And feeling supported. As we continue our walk in. Up ahead we notice there's a, a tree that's naturally fallen over, creating a beautiful log. There's a groove inside the tree that fits perfectly when we sit down, almost as though it was a seat made for us. And keeping our feet planted onto the earth, we take a moment to just look around, being in the middle of our forest, among the trees, Noticing any wildlife, any birds, animals that may appear. And just be in awe of the tree, in awe of how long the tree has been there. What has the tree seen? How they're able to be sturdy with their roots and yet flexible for whatever elements comes their way. And taking that energy within ourselves as we start to see the roots forming from our feet into the earth. Extensions of ourselves are connected to these roots as these roots start digging deeper into the earth's core. Moving down until we see beautiful Mother Earth with her arms open, embracing, ready to take the weight from ourselves, grounding ourselves in. She brings back up through our roots loving energy from the earth. Allowing this healing energy to come up through our roots, up through the earth's core, and coming up through our feet, making the way up through our legs, through our spines, and continue up through the neck and then out of the top of the head to above. And just sitting with this feeling, noticing what's coming up for you as we have that anchor now into the earth, bringing ourselves fully into our body. And just sitting in that for a moment. And then we're going to start moving out of our comfortable hollow in the tree and turning to the closest tree ask permission for a hug from the tree and embracing your tree giving and receiving to each other having gratitude for the lessons of the tree Gently releasing your embrace now. Feeling connected, feeling grounded, feeling part of the earth. We start making our way back out of the clearing. 
back through the bush as we walk. Noticing the coolness in our feet, the softness of the earth and the mossy grass. And then once we're at the clearing, we're gonna just turn and look at the trees. Knowing you can come back to your groove and your seat anytime you need to remind yourself to ground in to the earth. And then turning our head back, now we're going to walk out of that clearing, coming into that grassy patch, and lying down now, looking up at the sky. And seeing the clouds float over. We're going to start bringing our awareness ourselves back to the present moment. Back to where you are. Back into your bodies. Wiggling the toes, wiggling the hands. Coming back to your breath. I'm taking the time now to journal, journal any thoughts or feelings or drawings. You can draw your tree, your bush, your clearing. And anything that has come up for you, any messages you had, any feelings, allowing yourself to just flow right. And thinking of these questions, thinking about what the earth element means to you. And then having to think of how you're going to connect with the earth this week. Thinking of three things. It could be walking barefoot each day on your grass. It could be doing that tree pose that's in the worksheet every morning. Or maybe getting your hands dirty and planting some seeds, pulling out some weeds, whatever it is. Giving yourself three things that you can connect to the earth. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a beautiful, earthy week. Grounding yourself, creating your foundations. Creating that beautiful, fertile soil for growth. Namaste.